It's spring, according to the calendar anyway. Not so much the weather, but according to the calendar, it's spring right now. And when it's spring, all of a sudden children start finding little caterpillars crawling around. And today I have a way that you can bring some caterpillars into the kitchen and onto your dinner table for everyone to enjoy. They're edible caterpillars, of course. And the way we make these little bread caterpillars is with a tube of refrigerated biscuits. So I've just got one tube of refrigerated biscuits here and for each caterpillar you need two biscuits. And you just cut each biscuit in half with a knife and then each of those halves need to be rolled into a ball. Now children just love helping with this. This is such a fun activity for children. And then I've melted some butter and I've got some poppy seeds and some sesame seeds and into both of those I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese. You could really use any kind of cheese you wanted but I like the flavor of the Parmesan with poppy seeds and sesame seeds. And after I've rolled my dough ball in the melted butter, I'm going to put it into the seed and cheese mixture. And each of these balls is part of the caterpillar's body. Now without the cheese, these little, whoops, I forgot to roll that one. The little balls won't stick together. And so it's important to have a little bit of cheese mixed in with your seeds. The first ones I made, I didn't do that. And my little caterpillars were just little balls. They didn't stick together. There we go. And not only are these fun to make, but they're really fun to eat. Children like to just pull the little balls apart. There we go. That's going to be a funny little caterpillar with a light stripe in the middle of his body. So you get the idea. Just melt some butter, poppy seeds, sesame seeds, some grated Parmesan, whatever kind of cheese you'd like. Pop them into the oven about 450 degrees for 8 to 10 minutes, just that, like the directions on the package say. And when they come out of the oven, you have cute little caterpillars. And all I've done was taken some pretzels and pushed them in for antennas. This one I used some dried currants for eyes. And it's a little easy if you make a little slit with a knife before you push those pretzels in. But there you have your little springtime caterpillars to have with dinner. So enjoy spring with some caterpillars to eat. I'm Sue Doden and now we're cooking.